In order to talk about um, UV map for a cylinder, uh, first um, I'm going to talk about how light wave project uh, projects um, geometry to this square. Okay, it's the UV space. So I'm going to this uh, shape and I'm going straight to T new so planar. Uh, y-axis automatic settings and notice in size okay it has these values these values are the bounding box of the object uh, to see that I'm going to go detail measure bounding box okay uh, check the extent okay 6.2 4.6 2.4 it, it's the same okay so if I press ok go here paste it back flip okay uh, this is where the object fits okay uh, if I press create um, there will be distortion why because this bounding box um, for the UV projection uh, it's not a square okay it's a rectangle so I'm projecting this rectangle to the square so obviously there will be distortion to uh, make him fit how can I fix this well quick way is to copy the highest value which is the 6.2 and paste it to the other channels okay so this time uh, no distortion because uh, you projected a bounding box that is a cube to a square so no problem uh, this said how do I make the UV for this well you whoops texture z-axis in this case and I have 5.4 and 3 so 5.4 it will be my bounding box okay no distortion uh, in this case I'm just gonna make it sit there so 5.4 dividing by 2 create okay it's gonna sit there now for the cylinder okay uh, I'm going to use instead of planar, I've been using planar, I'm going to use cylindrical. Okay, cylindrical uh, map type scans the mesh from the origin, okay, from here to the negative x and opens uh, the model. So I'm going to do the seam to avoid problems. Um, I don't want the software to do this for me because sometimes can be tricky so I'm gonna unweld these points okay I have this sub patch so you can see the unwelded points because if I have this into flat uh, it looks the same uh, I'm gonna unweld the caps so cut paste back and now uh, a little trick here probably not much useful but here goes uh, if you want to keep um, some seams uh, unwelded for a long time and you, you don't want to be concerned about pressing merge and everything disappearing, uh, there's a trick. Uh, you c can create a morph, call it no merge. And in the morph, uh, for example, in this case, I'll take the caps. Um, I'll spread the seam apart, okay. And when I go to base mesh again and I eat merge, okay, this keeps unwelded, okay, and the caps too. Because light wave doesn't allow you to merge points that have di different uh, spatial coordinates in morphs, okay. So that said, uh, all set for cylindrical unwrapping and T. Going press cylinder. Uh, and if I go straight in the y axis, what will happen? Oh, sorry, cylindrical. What will happen? Well, uh, I have the texture stretched. Uh, and I don't want this, so 
as for this I have to find the bounding box that it's not a rectangle uh, why is it a rectangle well let's see I'm gonna hide the caps so let's undo I'm gonna hide the caps because I'm just gonna use the tube now so what is uh, our rectangle so after this is unwrapped it's gonna look like this okay so um, our rectangle is here is the height and here is the width okay and obviously they're not a square okay so how do I know how do I know the measures easily uh, you come here here go to measure absolute measure okay three blah, blah, blah this doesn't matter we want the biggest so absolute measure is this times 24 because it's 24 sides so it's this nine number I want so when I come to cylinder in the y-axis instead of 3 that was the the smaller one I'm gonna put the big one okay this time no stretching okay it's gonna keep everything proportional uh, I'm gonna do the same here put the big number divide by 2 make him sit there okay so this part is done let's do the caps get okay, caps done on planar so new cylinder just give the same name it will add won't overwrite planar y axis 2 and notice how I have um, again this number here and here so this time I'm gonna s uh, change the X and the Z so here that big number and there we go if I call everything have this and this okay and if I put this into focus notice that they are the same size okay these segments are the same size as that now I want to merge everything back but well I can't because I have to delete the morph okay so I delete the morph merge okay it's all good put a texture to check add cylinder it's it's good <laughs>